Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this video is gonna be kind of short, but it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got Quavo and we got Offset on the roster. Now, this video is like kind of late, man. I just been in my own little world doing my own thing. I should have been posting this, but oh well, man. It seems like people are saying that Quavo diss Offset in his recent song, Greatness, and he pretty much spoke on Amigos ever coming back and said that it was over. Now, before we get into this little crazy video, y'all know my routine. Um, hit that like button, bruh. Smash that noti bell, excuse me. You know, so that y'all can't be notified anytime I drop a video. And I can just also just keep y'all updated on this whole situation in general, bruh. Y'all got me? Alright. Now, basically what we got going on, as I said, y'all, we got uh, pretty much Offset in... Quavo on the roster, and a lot of people are saying that, you know, pretty much he dissed Amigo. He dissed Offset in his recent song and spoke on the future with the Migos. Came in, swept the game like a storm with the motherfucking flow, nigga, take that debt. So don't ask about the group, he gone, we gone, young. It, it can't come back. Now, as you seen, man, pretty much, man, he uh spoke on the uh, the Migos and said something about Tate did that, and he said he gone, we gone, and it can't come back. Or something similar to that. Obviously, I don't got the lyrics pulled up right here, man, but pretty much, you know, he's saying that the Migos wasn't coming back. And to be honest with you, even if they did try to bring it back, it literally just wouldn't hit the same due to the fact that, man, once one person gone, you know, um, it's just you can try to bring it back, but it's just like people love them for them three, you know what I'm saying? For the Migos, not the duos, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, um, all good things gotta come to an end, you know. Sad situation. RP to him, he lost his life, and the way they had to break up, man, they had a good 10 year run. A lot of them was a part of our childhoods, but rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? Um, RP to uh, to take off and prayers for their family. Now, um, people also felt like, as I said, he was dissing Offset because within the song, he spoke on it and he said this. Mama take I can't kick it with a fake nah. and I won't sleep with the snakes. Snake. Now as you seen man, um he said something like I can't kick it with a fake and I won't sleep with the snakes. And people are assuming that he was talking about offset. Now I'm not saying that literally people on social media were saying that all on Twitter and a lot of people think you know because of that situation with you know, um, at the Grammys that he kind of throwing shots at Offset. And to be honest with you, I don't know. But, you know, um, I hope that this is not true because this is petty. Because if you worrying about, you know, granted, obviously, Takeoff passed away. But if Takeoff, if Offset, excuse me, still on your mind and you still got a problem with that, it's just petty, bro. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, y'all shouldn't be beefing. And a lot of people are saying that, you know, the Migos, oh, my God, they're going away. They've been kind of split up when the whole Offset situation happened when they were saying, like, you know, Lil Baby and Q and all them. So, they been had problems, you know, but I feel like at this point, man, beefing ain't what's the purpose, you know? You never know your last day, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, take our pass, and they said he was on good terms with everybody, but man, you know, at any split second, it could be your last day. So, beefing and being petty and all that, it's just like, come on, bro, it's not that deep, but they might be going solo nine times out of ten. And I don't know how successful Quavo can be with that because he's definitely just a guy that's mostly known for hooks. You know what I'm saying? But y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about it. Let me know. Do y'all feel like he dissing Offset? Or do y'all feel like this is petty? Do y'all feel like people are overreacting? Give me y'all thoughts and opinions. It's your boy Lucky J. Thank God for another day. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all more, man. And yeah, bro. I'm out.